Hi, and welcome back to Mentor and Engineer. We're still talking about gears here. Uh, still excited, woo -hoo. And uh, now we're gonna talk about making sure that your gears mesh together. And so before we can do that, we need to talk a little bit about terminology, all right? So the first thing I wanna point out is these things called lands right here. All right, this is a bottom land and a top land. And they're more or less a flattened section of our uh, tooth. Uh, and then you will also notice that uh, as the, they mesh together, you're going to have a gap here, you're going to have a gap up there, and you're going to have a gap on the back side of the gear. Now I have my, my gear rotating uh, clockwise here, which means this one's going to rotate counterclockwise, and it's pushing right here, and it's pushing a little bit right there. Um, and you want to make sure that there's a gap uh, everywhere so that you don't bind the teeth. Uh, it's very important to not have uh, or to have a gap right here so that you will um, be able to uh, make adjustments. Uh, you can also uh, adjust that gap by bringing these two gears closer or farther apart. Uh, and you, but you never want to get to a zero tolerance. So this right here is where backlash comes into play. I can adjust the center distances to uh, increase or decrease that gap as I desire. So moving on, we're going to talk about the pitch circle. The pitch circle is these two lines here, these dotted lines, and that is uh, right at the center here. These two will be tangent to each other, and that's uh, the theoretical angle where the gears mesh together. From there, we can determine how far our gears need to be apart based on their center to center. All right, so this value of a pitch circle will come from the manufacturer and they will it'll be something they readily give and it will allow you to figure out how far apart they are and you use this formula that uh, the uh, pitch circle represented by D uh, D1 divided by 2 D2 divided by 2 equals the center to center distance of the two gears all right and that's just saying that the radius of this gear and the radius of that gear have to eat up may have to add up to be double that so you get that tangent line there. No big deal, we can all do that. All right, the second thing that we're gonna to need to talk about is diametrical pitch. And this is represented by um, the letters P and D, both capitalized. Sometimes you'll just see the letter P for the pitch diameter. I like to use both just to indicate that's exactly what I'm talking about. And that is the number of teeth, and that is divided by uh, the pitch circle of the tooth, and that's represented by lowercase uh, d. So let's do a little example. I have Lego gears here, and I have two gears, and I know that they need to mesh together uh, because I see them mesh. And I want to figure out what is the diametrical pitch. So I'm going to use unstandard units here. Um, just because I can count these very easy, I'm going to consider each space one. So this large gear right here, we're going to start there. I just counted. It's got 40 teeth. And it has, uh, from the center, one, two and a half uh, spaces. All right, so I'm going to need to multiply that by two, and I get five. So I get... 40 teeth, five spaces, and that equals eight. So that's a pitch diameter of eight. All right, on the small one, it's got 24 teeth, and it is uh, one and a half, so multiply by two, that's three. Uh, so I've got 24, excuse me, I can't write, 24 divided by three, and that also equals eight. Now it is very important that these two numbers add up uh, are, are the same. That is how a gear will mesh. The other thing that tells me if a gear will mesh or not is the uh, pressure angle. So those both have to match. So if, this, these, if I have a pressure angle of uh, 20 and one of 14 and a half, those will not work together. If I have a pressure or a diametrical pitch of six and eight, those will not mesh together. They both have to match. That is the only two things that have to have happen. So the final component of this video is going to be doing the gear ratio. 
And this is the ratio of the two gears and how the input drives the output. All right, and it's very simple. It, it, it's all based on the number of teeth. All right, so um, our ratio is going to be the number of teeth on the output gear over the number of teeth on the input gear. So in this case, I'm going to drive uh, the 40 gear, 40 tooth gear by the 24 tooth gear. And that gives us a ratio of 3 to 5. So I can divide both of those by 8, and I will get there. Or, uh, what is that, uh, 1.66. So in our example, let's just say that our input uh, uh, gear is running at 100 RPM. All right, we're going to do our output, which is V out equals uh, V in over our gear ratio. All right, so we get what is uh, that's exactly 60 RPM. 60 RPM out. Now we could just use that formula to uh, figure out, you know, so we get, uh, we will also get increased torque. Uh, now it's not exactly a one to one ratio because there is uh, power. Uh, that is lost between the two gears, and we'll talk about that more in our next video. So thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.